Kurs und Dank. Shops be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes, and Booze Reviews. I've got all a bottle of Abbey Ale from Belgium called Coulson Donk, which I got from Beers of Europe because it was cheap. It is, it is a Belgian Abbey Ale that has been brewed. I think this is contracted out. It's Coulson Donk is just a name, and uh, they're a chain of hotels operating from Antwerp and um, they've I think they've contracted this out to some brewery in the Valloon part of Belgium or the French speaking part of Belgium not sure which one but um, this is their product and they do a few beers as well um, this is their Abbey Ale now I've just tried the Grimbergen one and it was aptly named because it was pretty grim it was full of sugar and it's full of colouring as well, you know, artificial colouring. And I just thought, that is bullshit. So, I'm hoping this is going to be better. But there's alarm bells because it says brewed and bottled in Belgium, in English. Now, I think if your beer is good enough, you don't need to put stuff in English. You know, Orval and Westmar and West Valletta and don't do that. And all the good Belgian brewers don't do that, but... This, I suppose, if you're running a hotel chain, and I suppose this would appeal to tourists and all that, but yeah, well, let's get it open and let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have got 33 centilitres or 330 millilitres of Belgian Abbey beer. I'm just looking for the ABV on this. And I oh, do you know what it doesn't say. Am I going fucking stupid? Um, it's got a lot of Flemish stuff on there. Ah, here we go. Six point five percent. It's six point five percent in the alcohol. There is the bottle. Oh, you can see that or not? There you go. And there is the bit that's ringing the alarm bells. Brewed and bottled in Belgium. Why would you need to make a big thing about that? It's got everything in in other languages about the capacity of the bottle. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, distributed by NV Brewery, Corsa Donk, a place called Turnhout, wherever that is. Um, let's just get it open and let's see what's going on. Now, I could be I could be slating this because I've just tried that Grimberg and stuff and that was really fucking shit so I'm hoping this isn't this is going to be a decent Abbey beer well, basically one that ain't covered in fucking sugar there it is there is the cap not sure whether you can see that or not can you see that oh do you know what oh, there you go Lois there you go right on the nose out of the bowl Wow, this smells a little bit better. Well, <laughs> immediately, pepper. And spice, like cinnamon and nutmeg. More than anything else. It actually smells <laughs> reminiscent of a bottle of HP sauce. If, you, if you're not sure what that is, that's brown sauce in the you know, United Kingdom. There's a bit of malt on that as well. Smells very complex. Let's get it into the glass. Cannot wait for this. This is either going to be extremely good or extremely shit. There it is in the glass. Off white, sort of beigey type head. A fair bit of carbonation. That is, you probably can't see it on here, but that is a really, really dark ruby colour. 
that would probably look like a stout to you on the camera. There you go, look, I've even got my Belgian hammers scarf. Um, on the nose, what are we getting out of the glass? Wow, more of that spice. It's really spicy. There's like a lot of, it's like white pepper. And like very faint ginger and nutmeg. And a little bit of cinnamon as well. And maybe a touch of fruit rind on that too, like orange or lemon. And coriander. It smells intriguing and I want to taste this right now. Let's get it down the hatch. Whoa, that is spicy. It's really spicy. That has got all the flavours that I mentioned on the nose. White pepper, coriander, slight lemon zest on that as well. Is it lemon or orange? I can't work it out. But that's in there. There's a little bit of nutmeg in there as well. And it's a very dry mouthfeel. Not much of an aftertaste either. And it's strange because I've had this in the fridge for three days and I've taken it out, but it's warm. I would say it's warm, but it's, it feels temperate, you know, room temperature. But I've just been bombarded with spices. And and not a lot else. I'm trying to get some malt, I'm trying to get some hops even a little bit of spirit alcohol, and I'm not getting anything like that. It's just liquid and spicy. Um, I'm struggling to see the drinkability in this. It's like you take a mouthful there's a little bit of carbonation in there, and then it's just whoosh, spices. Again, the pepper, the coriander, and all the other spices I mentioned. And then you swallow, it and there's nothing. And your mouth feels quite dry. And you feel you want to take another mouthful. But it's the same. And as I say, it's, it's not very refreshing either, because I've had that in the fridge. And this feels like it's been left out at room temperature. It's not cold at all, which is really unusual for me. I've never had a beer like that. I would love to see what the ingredients are. But they haven't got it on there. Oh, have they? Oh, it's all in Flemish and French as well. And I cannot read a fucking word. Oh, it's Bira Doppio Molto, so it's double malt. Yeah, Doppio Molto is Italian. Beer Brun, Donka Beer. Donka Beer um, is dark beer. Donka means dark in Flemish. Um, brown Ale. They call this a brown ale. It's not brown ale. That's in English, they call it, that's the description. That's definitely not a brown ale. This is just a spice fest. Gordon Ramsay would probably like that. This is the sort of shit he puts in his food. Do I like it? Well, it's certainly interesting. I would say if ever you wanted a collective beer that had all the, all the spicy notes that you get from Belgian beer, then this is the one. It's just full of spice. And 
I know I keep labouring that point, but it's just full of spice. I can't get any malt on that at all. And as I say, the mouthfeel leaves you, leaves you completely dry. It's not refreshing at all. Um, I really don't know what to make of this. It's good, but how good is it? Um, it's not balanced. There's no balance there at all. That is just a full-on spice fest. Um, I don't know. My, my fucking mind is blown at the moment with this. I really thought this was going to be a cheap imitation of Abbey beer, like the Grimberg and stuff, but it's not. It's just full of, you know, full of the Belgian spice that makes Belgian beer what it is. Um, do you know what? For the first time ever, I can't give it a mark. I really don't know. Um, my my brain is saying this is okay, but it's just way too balanced in the spiciness sort of end of stuff. And I don't want to be harsh because it's the first beer I've ever tasted like this. And it's like a collection of all the Belgian spices you get in beer. But it's not refreshing. It doesn't make me want to sort of drink more. Um, it would be like an example beer. If I was somebody was saying to me, what's the, you know, the spices you get in Belgian beer? Try a glass of this. This is, uh, I imagine that is every single spice you can get in a Belgian beer in, in a glass. Um... I really don't know. I'm not going to give it a mark because I simply can't. I normally mark beer on the flavour, on the uh, it's you know how refreshing it is, how drinkable it is, and this is just it, it's it just doesn't do that. It's like a it's like a, if, if anything it's like a, a sample or an exhibition beer. You know, if a Belgian brewer got all the spices in his collection and threw it into a beer, this would be it. So, no, I'm not gonna give it a mark. I'm not gonna give it a mark, but I'm gonna recommend it, just so as you taste it, and see that this, if you drink a bottle of this, you will taste more or less every spice, you will taste more or less every spice, and more or less every flavor that you get from a dark Belgian beer. It's got the it's got the lemons or the rind or the zest from an orange or a lemon. It's got the spice and that's about it. It's got no malt, no hot bitterness, nothing else like that. No spirit alcohol. So yeah. So for the first time ever, that has completely thrown me. A beer has never done that before. That's just completely thrown me. I'm not gonna give it a mark and I'll just say try it once, see what you think. And remember, beer is working class champagne.